Baba, Reno don't whip Kiamo. Don't be small, eh? Baba, this country, eh? Anybody where you're do like say the country, no mind them. Oh. Even the people where the government give work. <laughs> you be like the work, no the work. You work, they work, now they define you work. You know, see versus Kiamo. Do you know that as I speak to you in this country, versus Kiamo is a minister. He's a minister for labor and productivity. Uh -uh. Just two have been three days waiting, who don't make our spokesperson. Kiamo don't enter news more than the whole time we don't serve for government. I know Kiamo and my guy now, they tell you something. Baba, they work where they give Baba, no, they work. I see who just tell us, come and be my spokesperson. Baba say, now, nah, now, nah, work start. <laughs> Minister of Labor and Progress, as to this strike since so, now in work, oh. Baba never granted an interview. Baba say, they don't call us. Him, Kiyamo, if you allow in children's school for ya. No, no, now you to say that they do well. Say, now, that you go, you go, if you allow your children's school, yeah. A guy, answer me now. Anyway, I trust Renu, I know say Renu normally no two get work like that. Now, Twitter, my body leaves, so. As Kiyamo just talk, Renu just come outside from nowhere. Talk. Okay, no, it's a fair year with Kiyamo talk. Then I'll come back, show you what's in and talk. When you say this election is about Balatinubu and Achiko, are yes. you discarding the other political parties? Are you discarding the other candidates such as a Peter Obi of the Labour Party, a Kwan Kwan so of the NNPP and the others? They brought colour into the into the, the campaign. So I must I must you know admit to them as a bit and I praise what they are doing. They have raised some consciousness among um, the electorates and all that. Um, but like I said in another program, outside the southeast, uh, Peter Obi is a carpet bagger outside the southeast and and we also suspect he may just be a trojan horse for atiku abubaka um and so we want to warn his supporters that he may be leading them to nowhere right and of course there are fears that have been raised right now in terms of the fact that we might see a runoff elections for the first time here in nigeria we will not see a runoff the, we will not see a runoff really how can you guarantee as you are, that as you are, you our seen, demography you i want support? to I, I want you to call me a week put in your a week to elections mm -hmm. i don't want to reveal the demography now mm -hmm. we have done our demography we are not resting our hours, we are not going to sleep. Ashwa Yibola Ahmed to me is far ahead of the other candidates. So you think Peter Obi and the Kwan so is the thought force, you don't think they would actually scratch they, even the two They will do parties? well and I praise them for, for raising the consciousness of But they, they are not to well. worry about, you think? Uh, well, for some areas, yes, you know, some areas, they are candidates and I don't want to run them down on air, but like I said, we are done our demography and it is between uh, Ashiwaju and a distance on that Tikwa Bobaka. Now, so now that's your minister, you have a couple of fine boy. You. Anyway, Renu respond to Ramu. I trust Renu now. Yeah, but at this election, Renu, no one here say this small work what Tiku give her. <laughs> Anybody, they, you know, left, right, and center, Renu, just the five years from, you know, but no, no, because we have Baba, they stay now, monthly, they the parent too. <laughs> What kind of video you don't respond to Kiamon and me we call the waste my energy for people we know for people we do we, we put us on for nonsense. What Renu by yourself at the combat? When you say his voice has been purchased by Bola Tinubu, what do you mean? Do you mean that he's been paid for a service as a lot of people are paid to do a job? Okay, I'll tell you what I mean by his by that his voice has been purchased. This is a man who's meant to be Minister of Labor and Productivity. In fact, I think they should change the name of that ministry under him to Ministry of Labor and Unproductivity because we've seen that you know he's very unproductive. Why? Look at his main remit, the number one job that he's meant to be doing is to handle the ASU strike. ASU has been on strike for a record period, the longest period. And then here is a man who is meant to be the minister in charge of ASU, who is meant to be the minister in charge of getting 3.6 million Nigerian university students back to school. And then he's left his place of primary assignment to go and be a spokesman for Bola Tinubu. What could have been responsible for that? That means that his voice has been purchased. Look, Astro Strike right now is probably the number one national emergency because when you have 3.6 million youths at home, they become restive. You know, it's going to lead to insecurity. It's going to lead to depression. A lot of them are going to start feeling suicidal. And then you have this man who's the responsibility is to zero in on the asset strike and then resolve it. And then he's left that, and then he's gone to become the spokesman to a presidential candidate. So that's to tell you that for Festus Kayamo, politicking is more important to him than governing. Right, I have a... <laughs> you don't see an angel called Bari Bugari. Baba, they speak. <laughs> anyway, the 2023 don't reach now. You know, so everybody enjoyed it. You used to enjoy it like Percy Way there. What your mama tell you? Your office say, once your mama or your papa give you money, 
Like some guests where you're the proud the worker, but you know that the papa they say they be princess. So where the cockroach they call they give you the princess feeling. Really. they're not really princess like that. See you get. <laughs> now mind when your mother give you say they believe say we are getting you for us. Let me say. You know why the boy proverb they say give your own son as in. Baba la wona that white top when they rub for I was he clean I go be like you eh. So as this one day this political party this one day this political party for everybody mind they don't understand politics finish. What you go for? Anyway. No, no, they do. I don't think on the show you get. If there's Zuzu, Zuzu. Because when Nigeria, they go say, like, say, we die alive before don't die. So, nothing really there to lose again, you know. As I would beg everybody, 2023, vote right to, vote right to, I don't know if it's be right, but just vote right. Look where, look where. The first question we go ask yourself to take choose presidents for this country. Ask yourself, if to say Nigeria now your business, and you get these three candidates, who you go choose or you go, who you go employ to run your business. I say you take choose who go run Nigeria. I don't move.